Amen. Turn with me to the book of Lamentations. All right. Stand if you're able. Reverence of God's word. In Lamentations, chapter 3. Familiar passage of scripture. Amen. And my brother, they would stand with girls and ask me what was I going to do today. I said, but the Lord led me to Lamentations, chapter 3. I'm going to pick up at verse 21. Lamentations 3, 21. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. Through the Lord's mercy we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Yes, Therefore I hope in him. Yes, Grass may wither, flowers may fade, but the word of God shall abide the last day. God's word for the people of God. I'm going to talk to you from this subject. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes, you may be seated. Great is thy faithfulness. Thank you, ushers. Appreciate all that you did yesterday as well. The beautiful dedication for it. my brother. Amen. Good to see all the ushers here yesterday as well. The Book of Lamentations is a series of poems or songs of mourning that were written against the backdrop of the Babylonian invasion and destruction of Jerusalem. All right. In these verses of this book, we can see the awful suffering endured by the people of that city at the end or at the hand of their enemies. Still, even in the midst of pain and turmoil, God had his man in Jerusalem to record the events and to bring honor to his name. God had his man. The writer of the book of Lamentations is believed by many scholars, theologians, speak to be Jeremiah. He was known as the weeping prophet. A study of Jeremiah's life reveals a portrait of unending sadness and deep depression. That's why he was crying. So allow me to give you some of the background for this precious man of God. He received an unwanted call to minister in Jeremiah chapter 1. Mm -hmm. He was called to ministry of preaching nothing but judgment also found in chapter 1. He received a, a, that call to preach and he was a little hesitant. In other words, God called him to a ministry of preaching but nothing but judgment. And in verse 9, excuse me, chapter 9, he was a man of deep sadness and wept openly about the sins of his people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you navigate to chapter 16, he was forbidden to marry so that, might, uh, so that he might give himself more fully to his ministry of proclaiming the impending, impending judgment of God. All right. Then if you move up to chapter 20, he endured depression as a result of his message going unheeded for so long. All right, all right. He even came to the point where he tried to get out of the ministry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. His pain is understandable because in, in a ministry that spanned uh, some 50 years is, is no record of one convert. In other words, nobody got saved for his preaching. Mm -hmm. All right. Nobody came to the law. Oh, it doesn't stop there. He suffered imprisonment. He went to jail. In chapter 32, King Zedekiah became the king and he did not approve of this man's preaching. Y'all right. read the Bible. All right. Even while the Babylonians are, are, are invading the city in the fulfillment of his, of, of, his pro, uh, of his prophet declaration, Jeremiah is sitting in 
a dungeon. He's sitting in jail. So after Jerusalem falls, and many have been killed and captured, there have been bodies all over the place. The prophet does not go taking I told you so mentality. He didn't do that like some of us do. Right. Instead, he becomes broken in with the remnant and enters into suffering with them. That brings us to Lamentations. After enduring a, a life like this, uh, after being rejected, hated, mocked, imprisoned, ignored, after seeing his beloved Jerusalem ransacked, desecrated, destroyed, after experiencing the honor of war or the horror of war, the brutality of the enemy and the pains of hunger, he saw it all. He just saw a mess. Yes, sir. Sound like some of these countries we are around oh, and we oh, see on the news. Yes, sir. Sometimes it sounds like some parts of America. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah was in Kennedy, still able to stand forth in the midst of rubble of the city and the, and the bodies of the dead and, 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 and lift his voice and praise to God for his great unfailing faithfulness to his people. He was able to do that. Mm -hmm. In other words, since the scene as he looked around, he was able to say, God is good. Despite his trials and his troubles, Jeremiah had gotten a good grasp on the reality of just who God is. And that's our problem today. <laughs> we don't have a good grasp. We don't understand just who God is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jeremiah knew that, that whether things went well, whether or when everything fell apart, God was still God. And that God will eternally be faithful to his people. Amen. Amen. See, 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 let me put a pen there. Regardless how nasty you can be and unforgiving you can be, God still loves you. Y'all can say amen. Because you know what? Church folk can be some nasty folk. We can be some unforgiving folk. But God still loves you. Thank you, Lord. Verse 21, verse 21, that's the pickup for the subject matter. Jeremiah was still able to find hope in a hopeless situation mm -hmm. because he believed in the faithfulness of his great God. Like Jeremiah, we all go through time where bad when life seems to fall apart yes, yes, at the same. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nothing goes right. Amen. Amen. By the other day, we just think it's always sometimes it's thinking a hiccup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, you know, it just be some minor. You just trying to get go to the ATM. Right. It's down. Right. It crumbles down. It just I mean, then you leave there and you go somewhere. If you go to the store, this this messed up. You know, it just you say, why should I just stay at home? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing going right. Then you get a phone call. Yeah. All right. All right. Then the pet that you have or the dog you have ain't acting right. <laughs> the three facts, three facts you are about the, about, about the Lord that will hold you on should encourage all the afflicted to turn to him for salvation and deliverance. First of all, first of all, God is, is love and full of compassion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, it is because of the Lord's great love that the human race is not consumed and wiped off the face of the earth. People have become so wicked and, and feel, amen, amen, and, feel, and, 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 and have filled the earth with so much immorality. Yeah, yeah why some of these TV shows, y'all? Lawlessness and violence. That they deserve judgment and condemnation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. Amen. We ain't got a lot of young folk here today. Some of y'all, yeah, amen, around my age. You know what? When we were coming up, some of this stuff that's on TV now, yeah. that's, for, that's for nothing. Yeah. And you know what here is? Your parents will allow you to watch it. Yeah. 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 But now it's acceptable. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Some of these TV commercials. Uh-huh. Oh my God. Half, look, I was going to say, half naked women. I know y'all take it to five yeah. people. I'm preaching to the world, amen. Yeah. Hey, yeah. These folks are naked on TV. Uh-huh. Yeah. On TV commercials. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let me move on. But God still loves the world. That is why he kept his promise to send a savior to the world to provide salvation for people. Mm-hmm. He tells us the Lord's compassion never fails. Mm-hmm. Therefore, he cannot, he cannot totally forsake mankind. Mm-hmm. Secondly, God is faithful. Say faithful. faithful. God is faithful. Therefore, any true follower of the Lord will be saved. Mm-hmm. This say might be. You accept him. Amen. 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 Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. Amen. God raised Jesus. Amen. From the je- the Lord Jesus from the dead. Amen. Amen. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just. Amen. To forgive you of your sins. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking about it. You all. And cleanse you from all unrighteousness. The, amen. The Lord will not fail anyone who truly trusts in him. All the believers walk through life bearing the painful afflictions that are common, that are the common lot to everyone on earth. Mm-hmm. They will always have the presence of the Lord. You will always have the presence of the Lord with you. And as believers, we can trust the great faithfulness of, of the Lord. When these times come, we, we also need to have the blessing and assurance that God is faithful. If he said it, he'd do it. If he spoke it, he'd bring it to pass. Right. Therefore, the Bible gives overwhelming evidence, if you read your Bible, of the unchanging faithfulness of our great God. Yeah. God is faithful. Say, God is faithful. God is faithful. By whom we are called into fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 1 Corinthians 1 and 9. He says, the Bible tells us, God is faithful. And this word faithfulness, let me put on this for a minute. It tells us that in verse 23, it tells us they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let me help you with that. That word means firmness. It means fidelity, such as salam, steadiness. And that said that is the word pictures God as one upon who can you can depend on. When you can't depend on nobody else, you can depend on God. And we can be sure that if we face the storms and the trials and the valleys of life, God will ever, ever prove himself to be steadfast and faithful to you and me. He's going to always be right there. Amen. God don't leave us, we leave God. Amen. And to put it very simply, you can count on the Lord. Amen. If I'm walking by myself, you can count on him. Mm-hmm. You can't count on Day Day and Jojo. Amen. Cousin Mike and Uncle Harry, amen. But you can count on God. Mm-hmm. God's gifts are fresh. That's what I like about this yeah, message. Yeah, yeah. It tells us God's gifts are fresh. It tells us whatever translation you got, it says new. Fresh. Every morning. According to this verse, of the grace of God is fresh as the new day. My mother, amen, some of y'all might recall, my mother worked for Safeway. Yes, yes, the old yes. Safeway. Yes, yes, yes. I worked 25 years. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. Holy Ghost always give you illustrations. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, amen. Mama got so excited, Mr. Terrell, he was, he was the manager. Right. And Mama, you started off as a clerk, amen. Thank you, Ruth Carter, Lord Ray Carter, Mala, amen. Amen. She, Lord help me. And, 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 and she got excited when she became the produce clerk. Uh, yeah. He said, well, really, what that mean? I, the Holy Ghost came and told me the produce clerk. Amen. She was in charge, Sister May, of the produce. All right. All right. What does that mean? I'm glad you asked. In other words, the produce had to be fresh. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Every morning. Yeah. Amen. And then if the produce was all, you got rid of it. All right. And you put fresh. Ain't fresh. Right, right. God's like that. All right. 
John said it like this in John 6 37. If you come to me for salvation, he will not send you away love. He said, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and those who come to me, I will no means can't stop. When you cut them, he ain't gonna push you back. All right. It also tells us, John 10, 28, I, I, I give them eternal life, and he shall never perish, never shall anyone snatch them out of thy hand. He will sustain you through the life and into eternity. In closing, amen. Praise the Lord. I, may the Lord bless you real good. Pray that something will say here today. Amen. About God's faithfulness. Yeah, yeah. As you and I face the battles and the burdens, uh -huh. the valleys, uh -huh. Uh -huh, and the storms, yeah. and the trials of life, we must always remember that we are his little lambs, right. and that he, will, he is well able yeah. to carry us through. Yes, Amen. Life yeah. safely. Yeah. Because as we as other lambs, yeah. we get lost yeah. and we become disobedient. Yeah. What kind of battles are you fighting today, Greg and Faith? Bring them to the, to the Father uh -huh. and trust in His unchanging and unfailing faith. Right. Yeah. If you're walking through a hard place in life yeah. and you need help, yeah. God will provide the help you need. Struggling with the flesh, yeah. and some is getting saved. Yeah. There's help for you as well. Yeah. I hope that you can say like Jeremiah, "Pray, y'all help me, y'all." And I hear by myself, "Pray is thy faithfulness," because unbelief carries us to look at God through our circumstances, yeah. and He creates hope to this. But faith enables us to look at our yeah. to the reality of God yeah. and gives us hope. Yeah. I'm going to leave you with this little rhyme, Sister Jones, that encouraged me and amen on more on one occasion. Yeah. Look at yourself uh -huh. and you'll be depressed. Yeah. Look at your circumstances and you will be distressed. Well. But you look at the Lord yeah. and you will be blessed. Yeah. God is full of mercy. Yeah. God is full of compassion. Yeah. God is faithful. Yeah. And he turns contemplation of trouble yeah. into confession yeah. of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Pray. 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 Is that faithfulness. Right. When you think he ain't there, he's right there at the front door. Right. When you think he ain't there, he's at the bottom of the page. Yeah. When you think he ain't there, he's in the wheel of the car. When you think he ain't there, he's in your favorite restaurant. Yeah. When you think he ain't there, he's in your marriage. Yeah. When you think he's out there, he's there helping you raise your child. Quit yeah. looking at everybody else. Yeah. Great is yeah. that faithfulness. Yeah. Mercy, Mercy, compassion, yeah. and faithfulness. Yeah. That's the mighty God yeah. we serve. Yeah. Amen. 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 Give God a hand, praise. Yeah. Amen.